Traders, I'm done trading today. And as you can see, I'm going to finish my day over $19,000. In fact, with my open trades, a bit over $20,000. So I'm still riding uh, Tesla. I'm still riding OSDK. That's the only ones that are still open. And um, I had some uh, two great trades in OSDK today. As you can see, my biggest winner, but that's due to two trades. I also had one very bad trade in Tesla. Actually, not too bad and uh, one great trade in Tesla, which Scott posted later. Let's start talking about Tesla. In fact, that's the only thing I want to talk about, not specifically uh, the way we traded it, although I'll go through this very quickly. You know, Tesla started with a big gap up today, um, and uh, it's like 6% up right now, and you expect it to gap and go. That's why it came down. I was happy to go long right over here. That trade failed because you can see that um, it started by moving down, hoping it's going to move to a new high, but then spike down under the lows. That took me out. The reason for that was mainly what the S&P did. Take a look at the S&P here. The S&P is just spiking all over like a roller coaster. It's very, very hard to read the S&P today, which made it extremely hard for me. So I started my day in red today with a losing day trade in uh, OSTK, NKLA, and one winner in OST. Sorry. I had a winner in OSTK, but one loser in Tesla and one loser in NKLA. So started with two red trade, one, um, one green trade, but then came um, another trade in uh, Tesla, another trade in OSTK and also one loser in NVIDIA. So the thing about uh, Tesla that uh, the second trade worked out fine. As you can see here, 385, that's the one Scott posted earlier. I joined him. And that worked out fine. The thing I want to mention about this one is uh, the way you manage your risk, reward, your target, and what happens if you miss it. So that's the main thing re really here. When I took the 385 trade, I knew that my stop is likely to be somewhere around here. So I don't even want to talk about uh, numbers here. Just take a look at that. You move in the 385, you look at your stop, just look at the chart and then you definitely know that your target should be somewhere around here. Well, I do trade with a one to one risk reward and you can definitely see that there's also quite a lot of resistance coming from here. And that's exactly what Tesla did. It came all the way down, all the way down to this, up to this point and then bounced back. In fact, at that point here, I was down one and a half point or a little bit more than one point under my entry point. Uh, no, a little bit less than that, just a bit under. Uh, so, as you can see here, uh, the entry was right, there was a new high here, there was an expected resistance here, and then I heard Scott taking his partial, I kind of hesitated about that, I thought maybe we're just going to have a chance to move back to the highs, and I wanted a bigger winner. Scott did the right thing, he took his partial right over here, and that was a great, a little bit more than one-to-one -one risk reward. I missed it and I was watching it coming down back to my entry point and a little bit below that and I was thinking to myself well I should have joined Scott I should have had my partial right over here and I'm I, I definitely should have I'm, I'm not saying right now I shouldn't have I at that point I should have ex expected this pullback here and I should have clicked that button and get my partial so what happens if it comes down retests as you can see here the 385 that's a very common way of uh, you know technical um, experience when you when you take a look at something like that uh, a, a stock is moving uh, a stock is moving to a new high and um, then coming back down and uh, retesting the point uh, retesting right here sorry comes back down to 385 retesting that point and then moving up higher when you missed that point over here, the next thing you should do is wait for a new high. You do not wait for the same price to come over again because once it already had the resistance here, it's likely to move higher. So if you survive this pullback, you should be rewarded. It should go higher and only then you should get your partial. And since it was close to the highs, we let it move over the highs. That's why my second trade in Tesla turned out to be a much better trade than my first one. So um, covered my loss and uh, much more than that. Uh, had a chance to wait for it to move over the highs. My first trade was approximately a one to one risk reward. Second one, as you can see from here, was more like uh, one to two and a half or maybe a little bit more than that. So anyway, 
Uh, end result is good. I'm having a nice green day. And that's really the main issue I want to talk about and look at Tesla now moving to a new high. So nice green day. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200-page part 1 of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.